So we can take another example that is y is equal to 2x raised power 5 plus x cube plus x square plus e raised power x. And again, if we differentiate this with respect to x, this dy becomes dy by dx is equal to 10 into x raised power 4. Differentiation of x cube is 3x square plus x square becomes 2x and the differentiation of e raised power x is e raised power x. So this is our differential equation and because we know that we are getting this equation after differentiating this. So now the question arises what is not a differential equation. So let's consider an example let's say we have this equation y is equal to e raised power y and suppose we are given with y is equal to e raised power dy by dx so this is not a differential equation because we know that the differentiation of this should be equal to dy by dx let's say this is dy by dx so we are given with this and we know that we cannot get this different this equation in any case because if we have to differentiate this this will come out to be dy by dx is equal to differentiation of e raised power y should be equal to e raised power y and differentiation of y after chain rule it comes to be dy by dx so this is our differential equation and this is not the differential equation because in any case we are not going to get this similarly if we have this equation like sine x plus cos of dy by dx we know that we are not going to get this in any case because uh, this equation uh, we know that the sine x comes after differentiation of let's say this is minus sine x so cos x plus sine x if we differentiate this this should be equal to minus sine x plus let's say this is y so differentiation of sine y should be equal to cos y and y should be equal to dy by dx. So after differentiating this, we are going to get this. So this is our differential equation. And in any case, we are not going to get this. So this is not a case of differential equation. And so now we know how to differentiate between a differential equation and a non-differential dif uh, differential equation. So our next topic should be order and degree of differential equation. Let's see what is the order and degree of differential equations. Order as we have seen in uh, earlier classes like in 8 or 9 we know that if we have this equation, say, let's say this is a quadratic equation, and we know that the highest power of the variable is called the order, is called the degree of this equation. So the highest power of variable here is two. So the degree of this equation should be equal to but in case of differential equation, the degree and the order, they goes along. How? Uh, we know that, suppose if we have this equation, 
y is equal to 4x square. If we differentiate this with respect to x, this is dy by dx is equal to 8x. So we have differentiated this one time. So the order here is 1. So this is the first order differential equation. And if we differentiate once again with x, differentiate with respect to x once again, this has to be written as d square y by dx square because we are going to differentiate it second time. So this is the second order differential equation and here the order is this can also be written as y dash or y double dash. So this is the first order differentiation, differentiation and this is the second order differentiation. So for this differential equation the order is 1. That is how many times have we differentiated a, a equation and for this the order is 2 because we have differentiated this for this two times. Similarly if we differentiate this some equation like three times suppose it's 4x so the order of this differential equation should be three and let's see what should what will be the degree of the differential equation suppose we have this differential equation d square y which is second order plus 4 into dy by dx now plus x is equal to zero now in this case the highest the order is 2 so the we have to check what is the power of the highest order derivative so the power of this this is the second order is power is 1 so in this case the degree is 1 for degree we have to check what is the power of the highest order derivative in the differential equation and let's say let's once again consider this let's take this out suppose we have differential equation uh, let's say second order different d square y by dx square plus dy by dx square the whole square plus x is equal to zero so here our order is two because this has been differentiated two times so the order is two and we have to for degree we have to check what is the power of the highest order derivative that is one so here the degree is not two but we have to check the highest order derivatives power so the degree is one so i think we are clear with the concept of the differential equations or the and the degree and as we will solve the questions in the exercises we will be more familiar with the concepts of the differential equations. So this is the introduction to the differential equations, chapter 9 of the class 12.